Hello, Sharon Spread here with you from Fast Track People and you're watching this month's blog from the road. Our topic, promote yourself. Now this comes from a conversation I had with a manager who's doing great things with his team but feels he's not being noticed by senior managers in the company and this is affecting his career progression. Now I come across this a lot, particularly in IT and engineering and perhaps this is a familiar situation for you too. Now at first glance it might seem that motorcycling has little to offer, especially when it comes to the racetrack where it's quite clear who's the best rider. You just observe lap times and race results. But having just read Casey Stoner's recent book, I think there are three pointers that can help you here. So here goes. Number one, even the best riders can't do it alone without their pit crew, their PR staff to bring in sponsorship, the mechanics to set the bike upright, Winning would just not happen. So even the best riders needs to be a team player and not a prima donna. So who's your pit crew? Your peers, your staff, members of the company as a whole? Act like a team player by building social capital through sharing skills with those who would benefit from them. Give public credit to your team and your peers when they do something that helps you. They'll be much more predisposed to do the same for you, by the way, and you get a reputation for generosity as well as getting your skills talked about by others. Number two, be humble. No, really, I mean it. Properly humble and not just pretend. We can tell the difference. The best writers are often happy to admit publicly their failings. Uh, one of my heroes, Bill Warner, is typical of the breed. In 2011, he broke the land speed record on a highly modified version of the bike that I have, a Suzuki Hayabusa, by reaching just over 500 kilometers an hour in a distance of less than two kilometers. That's staggering. Now, whilst he had a reputation as a fierce competitor, he was also known as very humble and a soft-spoken man. And we see many examples of this throughout the motorcycling world, world and of course our own Casey Stoner is included. So my challenge to you is admit mistakes, tell stories that show that you're not infallible. Share the credit for any achievement publicly and graciously and others will sing your praises when you do. And it sounds much better coming from them than if you do it. And number three, take care of your image. These days, even the top level motorcyclists have to pay the publicity game, and so should you. Your behaviour, the contact, uh, contacts that you maintain, how you approach people and deal with them, how you appear, um, how you speak and dress, they're all factors that contribute to your personal image. Now, I hate to say this, but many IT managers um, that I meet could do with paying some serious attention to how they look. Uh, both face-to-face, -face, physically, and on social media. Now, you would be familiar, I'm sure, with the term personal branding. Uh, and if you're not, go Google. Some quick suggestions for you in the meantime. So, the first thing, dress. Dress as well as the next level above you in your company. Look the part before you get that promotion. Check who you hang out with at work. This needs to reflect the image that you want to convey and network with the right people. Your image on social media also needs to be consistent with that. Make sure that you've got a comprehensive, complete LinkedIn profile with a decent photo. And finally, check your Facebook profile. Now, I know it's more about social uh, and non-work stuff, but employers or prospective employers do look at your Facebook page. So you may want to clean up a little bit. Drunken snapshots with your mate, or worse, may not be helpful to your career prospects. In fact, I know of two people who've lost out of a promotion precisely because of that compromising Facebook entries. Now, you would know also for sure that nothing is private on the net. So, lots of things for you to do. As always, let me know how you go and what you would like to see in future blogs. And stay tuned, my book is almost ready to launch and you'll be first up as a blog follower to receive a special offer. So stay shiny side up.